when I turned up this morning, there were already hundreds of people here, and still more hundreds of people came. I'm so amazed with Tūranga Nui Akiwa and the way that they came out on the streets today to show that they care enough for their young people, their children, their mokapuna, and this amazing community. Enough is enough! Enough is enough! Come on everybody, those of you driving past, if you're down with the Kaupapa, if you believe me, you're going to give us a piece of your car home. My heart's been with Muko in that sentencing today. You know, thousands of people are going to walk down the road in, in Rotorua where these people have been sentenced for the for what essentially is the murder of this baby, but they've only been charged with manslaughter. And we're waiting to find out what was the decision made and why that was made, uh, because it's just not good enough in our minds. This baby was tortured, and those uh, two people who have been um, found guilty of manslaughter should have been found guilty of murder. Now, you can get a life sentence for manslaughter, um, and we expect nothing less. Where I come from, we had 10 babies die in 10 years. We were known as the place where children were murdered, and, and it was heartbreaking. And we had to turn around and say, we cannot uh, just stand by and do nothing when we know those children are at risk. You've got to take them into your home with your families. Go and see your cousin and your uncle or your, your sister or your auntie and say, how can I help? How can I help you? Because this is not the way we treat our children. And it's not in our culture. I'm, I'm a big fan of, um, of whanau-centric uh, solutions. So, some, uh, solutions coming from within the whānau first, but there's always this uh, this feeling of being whakamā around uh, having those conversations about, hey, maybe I'm not cutting it as a parent, you know, so that's quite common amongst amongst our whānau, but particularly amongst dads, you know, I, I took a moment there to speak particularly to dads, it's okay to reach out, you know, it's okay to, to ask for help, and additionally too, it's okay to be a dad and offer help to other dads that you might think are struggling. I read today um, some words from Anne Salmon uh, who talked about the early settlers came here and saw our Māori men and were amazed at the way they cared for their children, that they never hit them, that they always embraced them, that they had fun with them and that they respected them in a hui. If they were having a hui and a child asked a question, they would be responded to as if they were a rangatira, that their voice mattered. And we must return to what is our way, our culture of raising children in love. Yes, so head now. Let the troubles of the world down to sea. There's a multitude of organisations that are out there um, that can help. I'm a big fan too of having neighbours lend, lend a hand. Whenever I hear or see something happening up the street, I'm always one of the first that kind of go, and, oh hey, cuz, you guys alright? My oh, bro, do you want to come crash on the couch? You know, all of those little kinds of things. I think that there's a lot of things that we can do. There's no one solution, but there are lots of little parts that can create a healthy living state for us in Te Kaira. No doubt about it, the system must be fixed. But this is a whole of population approach where every single person walks hand in hand with the one next to them and says, I can help. I guess one thing that really needs to come from central government is the funding of these kinds of organisations. An organisation like Tawafi doesn't actually have its own specific funding, it's actually worked through other channels and what we need is actually some strong central government funding to fund advocacy places like Kapai Kaiti and specific working with men places like Tawafi. Te Puya Marae brought in the homeless and you know what, the difference between Te Puya and the Winds Office was treating them with dignity, treating them with respect, treating them with love like they mattered. When we treat each other that way, we break down um, societal barriers and we open our hearts and, and it is about love.
If anyone takes anything away from this, I want them to know that it's okay to say yes. It's okay to say yes, I need help. And it's okay to say yes, that you will provide that help for, for another person. So. For the memory of you, I'll always.